This is the last lab before you start your final project, by far your most important one. What you should have done up until this point is documented a product that you selected and then gained a familiarity for the software. What you're going to do now is you're going to model what you've documented into the software based on whatever skills you've acquired. Okay, So this is going to be the base for about 50% of your final project. So what you need to do is you need to make this to the higher standard possible because ultimately this is a portfolio that you can show an employer, an intern, anything. I mean, this is a tangible that you can have in your hand. Look what I can do. Look what I've done. Look what I've designed. Okay? So trying to not put in a full effort, we'll say, is just going to come full circle because you have to do it for the class. You have this to be advantageous here. You, you, you might as well do both of them. But I'll leave that decision to you. Okay, so the idea is, is if you do this to the highest quality, then you can just add on for your final project. If you don't, well, you're just going to have to repeat for the final project. And that is not my intent. My intent is to cut down the work uh, and you guys focus on the design aspect, not where to click buttons. Okay, even though obviously you know that's essential. Okay, once you complete this lab, what I'm going to do is we're going to have iterative feedback and I'm going to make sure you understand what you need to do to fix your lab nine. In a perfect sense, you'll have everything done, completed, you'll use the template, yay! Okay. If that's not the case, that's where my role becomes in and that's kind of where we fi figure out what works best for you. Now, that's all on you. You don't want to hear my feedback, I've had students, I don't want to hear it. Fine. That's on you. Just know you'll be held to those same criteria when you turn it in, okay? Once we finalize Lab 9 between each other, then we'll start talking about the final project. I don't like to tell students about that because they just get overwhelmed and let's stick with one thing at a time, okay? So this provides some context for you for Lab, and I hope, you let me, hope this helps and let me know if you have any questions.